everyone welcome back to another exciting day out inside a legit marsh system it's been forever since i've been here the grass looks nice the water level is super high i have yet to see any blow-ups but i'm gonna be hopeful that the fish are gonna be out here i am super happy that y'all have decided to tune back into the show uh, without your love and support there would be no channel so i really thank you all for uh, sticking with me. Let's get at it. This is a well-known spot for holding reds, especially whenever the current's moving. We don't have that right now. I'm just casting anyways to see if anything will be in here. It'd be nice to be greeted within the first 10 minutes with a nice sized donkey just saying hello. Hey, welcome back to the marsh system. Start things out with the hunchback I would prefer to throw a hoagie swimming jack, but y'all always see me use that, and I already know that that thing catches fish. I know that this catches fish, but I'm using it because here we are, another day of testing out the Abu Garcia, the Revo ALF. It's just uh, one of the things that I wanted to test out again, seeing how this thing does with its castability, or lack thereof, I should say. The main downfall of the reel so far is this tension knob. I have to have it cinched down to keep that slack from making all kinds of noise and rattling this spool when I'm reeling back in. Uh, if you can get over that noise, well then you can leave your tension knob nice and loose and it's not gonna bother anything. Uh, it'll still reel in and do its job, but I can't stand listening to it. So I have to cinch it down in order to keep it, or keep from hearing it. And in doing so, well, my ability to cast this lure, it doesn't go out there. So my casts are pretty much non-existent with it. So we're gonna put this thing away. Uh, it's, it'll come back out later on, maybe in another video, but for the sake of catching fish, uh, we can't just be stubborn and stick with this. Here we are, this is the bag of tricks. Only one tackle tray that I bring along with me out in my uh, kayak fishing trips and this is what y'all will see me use uh, I'm gonna stick with the black and chartreuse it's a very well-known producer we'll wait till one of the other guys that's out here catches something on a different color and then we'll switch it up all together oh that's a fish huh that's got to be a fish maybe not it's a crab look at that he got that thing quick <laughs> it's amazing how sensitive these rods are where you can just feel a crab claw just quickly grabbing your lure well that's the first uh, legit oh my gosh that dude just like sliced my hoagies I should have just quit playing with him but anyhow that's the first legit bite that we got all day long Oh yes, it was one. That is, what is it? It's a chicken. The first mud chicken of the day. The dude hit it and then missed, came back for it, and it immediately went crazy. First mud chicken, we're not even gonna bring out the ruler because there is no sense in doing, oh my gosh. Right through the eye, or close to the eye. There we go, got it out. And you still have use of the eye. Look at that. Beautiful little red. Look at that blue tail. Holy moly. That guy has got a beautiful blue tail. All right. Back in you go. Thank you for playing and not making me stay out here and just cast. Thinking that you guys aren't here. Oh, right there. Lucky cast. Boy, that guy is going, huh? I think this is our first donkey of the day, everybody. Boy, he just pounced on it, too, like, immediately. Come on, son. Get over here. Oh, my gosh. Come on. 
That's the only downside to using these uh, light action rods. They uh, got way too much flex in them. Okay, the reel uh, did a decent job at bringing it in. The, the drag is still a little bit glitchy, but it does engage. It doesn't uh, worry you to where there's gonna be so much stress on that line before the drag gives way. So it's doing its job and bringing in nice size slot reds. Oh, look at that perfect hook set right there. Nice 22 inch redfish right there. Let's get him inside the water. Try to revive his butt. There we go. Get some water running across those gills. You ready? Okay, here we go, right here. There he goes, took off immediately. I wish I had a cattle prod, one of those electro thingies, so I can, yeah, I can make these guys just stop spooking everything around. It's like that domino effect. I mean, there are a lot of big horse mullet out here. It's horrible. Can you catch fish? Yeah, you can catch fish with it, but can I catch fish with the Zebco? Yeah. I will never do like see first impressions are the only impression so that's why you shouldn't sell something this expensive and you know it, it not perform the way it should that's horrible quality control for a $250 reel and it actually costs a little bit more so I'm giving them a break by saying 250 actually like oh shoot big old gar <laughs> passport that's the name of the video passport kills gar what's the most clickbait that we could come up with for something like that <laughs> this is what happens people whenever two fishermen get bored because the fish don't want to cooperate we start just losing our mind gotcha this guy is running. Well, there goes the drag. I don't think this is going to be a slot, but... Oh, yeah, it is. Never mind. My eyes have deceived me. Whoa, 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 whoa. You guys have got to learn to stop doing that, man. Well, fellas, it may... It may happen. We might be able to catch a limit. Good night. Boy, this is a spunky little fella right on the top of the mouth let's get this fishing line whoa dude seriously man we'll be lucky if this fella goes 20 inches oh gosh he's got some kind of parasite on him oh wow 21 and a quarter y'all take a good look at that right there parasite and he got something right there on his butt this dude's got hemorrhoids bro i don't want to touch him <laughs> he got mad this guy has got the same issue on his eyes the way they do back home in our marsh system uh, i'm going to take a really good close-up photo of that and send it over to my buddy tim uh, he reached out to texas parks and wildlife and they said hey can you get us some photos so i think that's what i'm going to do before releasing this fella there we go all right back in the water you go Mr. Torpedo, belly flop. We've reached the halfway point. We're gonna now head back. Uh, the winds are extremely high. And even though we have the grass protecting us from it a little bit, the bite isn't all that. So we've decided to just make our way back. I will continue casting and hopefully uh, hook into one more red and magically, luckily, or whatever you wanna call it, get a limit, but it is a tough day indeed. Conditions out here after the rains and everything else, uh, it's been tough. The, the marsh is just completely flooded right now. Thank you. Hey. Here we go everyone, check out this hamburger right there. Doesn't that look nice and juicy? That is the, what was this called again? The, the MDLR special. The MDLR. This is the Hickory Burger. 
Boy, that was just, I'm gonna go into a coma. Hopefully I make it home. You guys come out to Sabine Pass, you definitely gotta try out the uh, Rod Air. It, they've got some killer burgers. I tried my best to finish this bad boy right there, but it just wasn't gonna happen. So I already knew to cut that thing in half. All right, everyone, that was a good day of fishing. Uh, it could have been better. I know Sabine passed to be really, really on fire, but uh, we picked right back up where we left off last winter time, and it's been tough. It was a grind. I am consider myself very lucky to be able to catch two nice size keepers. Donkey's on the lower end of the slot, but a fish is a fish, especially whenever it's tough like that. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click that thumbs up button. For those of you not subscribed and making it this far into the video, I'm going to take that as uh, you kind of like the channel. And I challenge you to watch a couple more videos. And if you do like those too, well, click that subscribe button. I sure would appreciate it. All right, until next time, tight lines, y'all.